Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So the Apple AirTags have been out for a week now and we've seen several YouTubers test them out in various ways to find out their true potential. I too have put it through its paces as well and in this video I will list a few limitations of the AirTags. Also, I've tried pairing the AirTag with my wife's iPhone 10, which hasn't got the U1 chip and I will show how it works with older iPhone models as well. So just before proceeding guys, please do subscribe and support me so I can continue making these videos for you. So let's get on with the video. First, I have placed the air tag on a different floor to where I am. So it's exactly the floor above where I'm standing. And I'm using precision tracking on my iPhone 11 Pro Max to locate it. And this is what happens. It tries to move me into position exactly below it. And when you go to the precise location, it does tell you that the air tag might be in a different level to where you are standing, but this doesn't always happen. As you can see, it's kind of redirecting me to several different angles, but it is not saying that the air tag is a level above me. Also, there are some times where it doesn't pick up anything. And what I found was if you just stay still in that location for a few seconds, that it eventually picks up and connects to the AirTag. Number two, in my previous video, I've showed that it would be nice if manufacturers made pouches like this so we can discreetly hide them in our bags without the AirTag getting scratched. What I forgot to mention that even after being enclosed in such pouches, this thing still works. The signal still gets through and the AirTag works. The sound is a bit muffed, but it is still audible. Number three, still staying on sound. It isn't that loud, but it is still audible. I put the air tag in the pouch and I put the pouch in my desk. And then I went downstairs and I'm trying the sound feature right from downstairs. And if you can just listen, you can still hear the sound. Even though it's not loud, you can actually hear it. And that is pretty neat, really. Now, when you hit that sound button, it doesn't play for long enough. Think Apple did this to save battery. So you need to hit it repeatedly until you locate it. Number four, I'm going to test out malicious tracking. I'm going to pretend to plant this air tag on my wife whilst she's out driving. Now, let's see at what point will her iPhone 10 notify her. So she's driven off for 15 miles now and the iPhone 10 didn't pick up anything. She even tried driving further and still nothing. Okay, I have listed her as family under my account. I'm not sure if that has to do something, but we tried and got no notifications at all. Now I hear several YouTubers mention that they got notifications once they reached home, but unfortunately I cannot test that as me and my missus, well, we stay in the same home. So malicious tracking doesn't work with family members. I thought it would actually, because see your A tag is just paired to your Apple iPhone and your account and it's got nothing to do with your family members. So I was hoping that it would work, but we seriously tried guys and her iPhone 10 didn't pick up anything. Number five. Now let me simulate the lost mode. The air tag is still with my wife who's gone for a long drive. Let's pretend that she nicked my tech bag, which is full of Apple stuff <laughs> and see when I will be notified. I've turned on lost mode and also put a message actually to ring this number and let's see what happens. So I'm waiting and waiting. Okay, this took a while, but like 20 minutes or so, I got the notification of where it has last been seen. And that location is correct. That's where my wife drove off to and she parked. So probably the information took a little while to update my iCloud account because I don't stay in city and 
I think that makes a difference. But for the next time, still on loss mode, I asked my wife to drive to the city center and she did the same thing. She parked there and it notified me within the next 10 minutes of turning on the lost mode. So there you go. The more saturated place you live in, the sooner your iCloud account will be updated with the lost location. Now, let's pretend that she's found the AirTag and with the lost mode on and I have enabled the message as well. Now, according to Apple, you should be able to just tap on the tag and find out information about who the owner is. Now, once again, we tried this with her iPhone 10 and it just didn't work. I'm not sure, again, if family sharing has something to do with it, but we tried this quite a lot and I couldn't see anything. We even tried opening the Find My app on her iPhone 10 and chose the Identify Found Item option and it still didn't pick it up. The iPhone 10 has got the NFC chip, so you actually should be able to just tap on the air tag and find out the information of the owner, but it didn't work. Again, I don't know if it's family sharing, which is interfering here, but we just couldn't get the lost information to show up on her iPhone 10. Finally, I tried unpairing the air tag from my iPhone and paired it with my wife's iPhone 10. The process was super easy and super quick and the AirTag didn't take long to be paired and connected to my wife's iPhone and her iTunes account. So if you're planning to share the AirTag between your family members, you can easily unpair it and pair it back with someone else. But yeah, it is iPhone 10, so the precision tracking feature is not present. You have all the other features including play sound but you don't get that precision tracking because the iPhone 10 lacks the UN chip, which is required for precision tracking to work. So that's it, guys. Those are the tests which I ran and I wanted to post everything which happened to me as I was running these tests. I tried my best to stay true towards these test results and everything that I've shown and mentioned in this video is 100% accurate. So Mainly the lost mode is just amazing. And even if you have lost the air tag in your home somewhere, using the precision tracking and the sound will definitely help. I mean, there are so many instances that I lost my keys somewhere and having the air tag would have really saved me so much trouble. Plus the lost mode is really amazing. Even in our first test where it took over 20 minutes to update the lost location, onto my iCloud account, it was totally understandable as we were in the outskirts of our town where we live in and it was late in the evening, there wasn't much traffic around, so I can totally understand how it took 20 minutes to update. But when we did the same test in city center, it was almost like under 10 minutes, which is pretty neat. So if you have lost something, you can definitely rely on it and find your lost item. So for 30 bucks, this is definitely worth it, especially if you're within the Apple ecosystem. I totally recommend this. You can just blindfoldedly go and buy one, get it engraved because Apple does it for free and you won't be disappointed. That's all for the video, guys. Hope you found this informative and hope you liked it. Please do drop your comments down below and let me know your thoughts about this. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and whilst you're there the subscribe button is just a few pixels away if you haven't already subscribed please do subscribe to my channel and support me i will continue making these kind of videos for you and there are several more interesting ones coming your way especially with the new ipad pro i'm so excited to get that and test it out and compare it with all the other ipads which i have here so please do subscribe guys and support me and as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.